Hi guys, in this video we're gonna go through the recent news and try to understand why Bitcoin has been going down for the last couple of weeks. Very interesting, especially considering that one of the biggest crypto news plus a regulatory body was just approved as the new ETF. As you can see over here, we have a lot of interesting uh, coverage from Financial Times. They're highlighting something that a lot of people heard but probably not so familiar in that. If you look at over here, <clears throat> One of the main reasons why Bitcoin has been going down lower and lower, breaking a lot of levels of support is that the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust that was previously listed as a global warehouse uh, essentially led a lot of the first backers, the people who previously bought Bitcoin through the trust, now to be able to redeem this Bitcoin, right? If you look at over here, GBTC, which is the Grayscale, uh, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, uh, had operating since 2017. The reason for this particular sell-offs is that last week this uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust converted to an ETF, giving the backers, the original investors, their first opportunity to reclaim the $28 billion of Bitcoin that they previously collected. And in four days after this switch to ETF and the ETF approval, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust saw redemptions totaled more than $1.6 billion. So essentially these people are selling their Bitcoin on the open market and they are going to buy some other cheaper ETFs because having them, having the Bitcoin in the trust prior, it cost them a lot of money, fees. And this is one of the major reasons. If you look at over here, this has been happening in the past. So a lot of people that are you know, more familiar with the matter, knew exactly what is going to happen. It's been industry practice to assume that all the coins previously trapped in GBTC are being reallocated to a cheaper ETFs, meaning at launch net inflows falls to 1.4 billion. But fund reallocation shouldn't move to Bitcoin price. There is no net selling pressure according to them. But what we saw is crazy. So Bitcoin dropped from 49,000 at highs at the actual ETF approval from the SEC, right? Down to 40,000, even below 40,000 at some point. Also, they're saying that it is also possible, however, some GBTC shareholders just want to cash out. So again, they're, you know, putting the possibility, something that a lot of people on Twitter, I saw reports that essentially are saying, that, you know, Bitcoin is going down because some of the people are actually selling off their Bitcoin because this is the first opportunity they haven't got from 2017. You know, this is uh, <clears throat> clearly seven years. And now they might be looking to, you know, have a lower entry price, lower cost basis and probably purchase a cheaper ETF with a lower maintenance and cost basis. If you look at over here as well, it looks like the GBTC investors who over the past year had been buying GBTC fund at a significant discount to NAV to position for its eventual ETF conversion have been taking full profit. You see, like I said, people who are long gone, people who are, you know, being aware of the trust uh, since 2017, they knew exactly how this will work when you see a bit Bitcoin ETF approval, they knew that this will go down and they have to either, you know, convert, they have to leave the, the current trust to find a cheaper alternative or they could simply cash out if they expect Bitcoin to go, you know, down big time. We had previously estimated that up to $3 billion had been invested into GBTC in the secondary market during 2023 which is, it's a, it's a large sum of money, guys. If a previous $3 billion estimates proves correct and given the $1.5 billion has exited already, then there could be an additional $1.5 billion still to exit to the Bitcoin space via profit taking. So the sales might not be over, guys. Essentially, they're trying to say that, you know, they're not going to be a single dollar left uh, it either gonna get converted right to the ETF 
but this is less likely simply because like they they're pointing out people are not uh, interested in paying high fees there will be plenty of bitcoin etfs out there so if you can get the same product right for a cheaper price uh, why wouldn't you do that considering that there are people here invested millions if not uh, billions of dollars but this is the reason why we've seen this a very very strong selling pressure on bitcoin for the last couple of weeks for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more